Hey guys, it's Gunnar Russ back once again. Finally, I know I don't look like a homeless person anymore. <laughs> the haircut is finally here. Well overdue, I know. Anyway, as you can see by the title, got something a little bit different to show you guys. You normally I show you things that are, you know, from the modern gaming era. Today, we're showing you something back from 1979. I wasn't even born then. This thing is an absolute classic. Now, I'll give you a bit of a backstory. My good friend Victor and I, and Jess, we went out and saw Spider-Man No Way Home. And I must say, that movie was probably one of my favorite Marvel movies of all time. Definitely recommend watching it. No spoilers to be given here. Anyway, so we got back from the movies and often on the way home from going to a movie, we always talk about the movie, what we thought about it and that sort of thing. And it was just a really good time. Well, by the time we got back to my friend's house, he turned around and said, hey, I've got something that you might like. Um, found it the other day. It's an old uh, handheld gaming system, uh, much older than the uh, Game Boy. It might be something that you might like. And I was like, dude, I don't even know what it is, but it sounds exciting. Uh, something along those lines anyway. And he ran out and got it. And he brought back this here is just something really cool. And it, you know, for a lot of probably the younger viewers, it might not be the most awesome thing out there, but just shows you how far we've come. And it's the hit hit and missile, and it says on here, the digital game of a shoot and shoot. Knock enemy aircraft out of the sky with missile you can control. Ages six and up, so I'm okay in that department, but 1979. And yes, the box is a bit beaten up. The one part of the box is actually ripped and, and I might have to try and stick tape back together, but all in all, it's still really nice to have a, you know, for, for what, for the one part of, you know, a pretty decent box for something that's, you know, from 1979. Uh, and it, it goes on to talk about, it's got even more stuff on the back here to go through, but I really want to go up and show you this up close and show you it working as well. You're not going to believe it uses these ones here, guys. Now, I'm not sure if you have these over in the States or other parts of the world, but they're not an easy thing to pick up over here. I uh, don't even reckon when I feel uh, the store at work that I see many of these come in at all if, if we've even got them and it's the C type so it's like a big thick thicker version of the double A or much much thicker than the triple A I should say but have a look at these they're like little buddy explosive devices little missiles if you will so we're gonna pop these in and fire up this handheld the thing that was, uh, I guess, the Game Boy of the past. So let's jump on in, guys. So here we have the hit and missile in all its glory. Really like the blue and the green. Kind of reminds me of Christmas for some reason. Here we have the back of the units. Really, really cool. Just uh, a simple design. It just screams out the 70s, doesn't it? It just has that old school look. This at the front here. And if you look really closely, you can see there's a film track that pulls along these enemy aircraft, which I think is just really neat. Love that. Down the bottom, you've got the little turn device, which moves your little um, tank, if you will. That was to blow up the enemy. Then you got the fire button, and you got your power here on and off. Pretty simple. You got a, a score tracker there, which is pretty cool. I guess if you you know kept pausing the game and was turning it off, you could change that. And then here you have a timer which goes for, I think, approximately 60 seconds, which is really cool. And then nothing really too flash on the top and bottom, just a real simple design, but really cool all in all. Really like this, so awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the big c size batteries into the back of this bad boy. I had a little bit of trouble getting it in there, so, but in the end, we managed to open it up and pop these in, and away we go, guys. Let's give this a real red hot go. Oh yeah. Oh 
How did I miss that one? Yeah! Whoa, you get a bigger one for that. I want to get one of those big, like... Uh, I want to get one of those big uh, bomber planes. Oh, okay, time has run out. We've got to do it one more time, don't we? Okay, here we go. Oh! Almost got him. So you're navigating the bottom here. Got the helicopter. Oh. And you can actually steer the missile as well, which is really quite amazing. There's not a huge amount of movement between the missile, but... Oh. Oh, damn. Not doing too well this time. Oh, I'm missing everything. What's going on? Yeah! Ah, we'll do one more round. One more round. Three rounds. There we go. Oh yeah, he's off the bat. He's doing well here. I've got to get one of these big planes. Oh. So it comes about... Mm, Ah, oh, damn it. It comes just after those jet pop so we're going now. No. It's normally just after the jets. Oh, it's a bit of a delay. So if we go about now. Oh! Still a hit. Yeah! Oh, we got so close to getting one. I think the time is going to run out. Damn. How awesome is this, guys? It's so much fun. Guys, how awesome was this? Like, seriously, like, it just, it blows my mind to think how this is working on what is like some sort of like a film. You can actually, when you're looking close, it's actually a film that runs around. I just find that super fascinating that you can connect film up with electronic device i just that's just really mind-blowing it's like something out of this world now i did take the batteries out of this um you know with anything old uh, with like this where you're not going to be using for quite some time it's always best to take the batteries out you know saying that so a lot of my gaming controllers at some stage i probably will be doing the same thing just taking the battery out of there just so it doesn't get that corrosion in there and you can always replace the battery later on when you want to use it but yeah, to my friend Victor, thank you so much dude. This is a really cool piece that I will treasure in my collection. And uh, it's just been an absolute pleasure to just to show you this to you guys. Um, you know, something different, something something unusual, and you know, just a, a timeless piece. And you know, if anyone out there is watching this and you have one of these, um, yeah, let me know and tell me, do you ever go back and play it uh, any times? <laughs> you can just imagine taking this to the shops. Or my, when I was talking to my friend Victor, he, he had said that you imagine taking this in your car with your parents back in the day, and I just think of like maybe someone like my brother, my older brother, maybe if he had someone like this, my parents would be so annoyed with having to listen to this in the back here. You know, um, you know, like the days now where we can put headphones and stuff in when we're playing things like the Switch and and Vita and all that sort of thing back in the day. You wouldn't have had the option uh, to. I'll just double check and make sure there isn't any headphone jack. No, there isn't. Um, to to play this in silence. So I can only imagine my my uh, my dad uh, if he had seen had heard this in the car, he would have got very annoyed. I am sure. But anyway, guys, that is the hit and missile by I guess uh, Tommy Toy. Um, really cool piece and once again thank you Victor and yeah let me know in the, in the comment section below you guys what you thought and if you're new to the channel please subscribe really trying to get the 3,000 subs and it's just uh, channel has kind of gone a little bit slow of late and it would be great for you to hit that sub button all right guys as always don't forget to subscribe fools see you later